Good morning everyone. Welcome to Dulcie's Creations. Welcome to another project. Welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you once again for being here with me. And if you're new, welcome and enjoy. So today we're going to do a pour, an acrylic pour. And when I was mixing my paint last night, I thought I was just going to do a ring pour. And then this morning I woke up and I thought, nope, I want to do a Dutch pour on this heart. I've only ever done one Dutch pour, so we'll see how it goes. My heart is now level. I've also um, taped the back of it. I don't want to lift it because it is level. And um, it's got some pins like these on the back so that it's off the, the tabletop. So I'm going to use Amsterdam Acrylic White for the base. And then I use, so I've got some black and that I've mixed with Pebio Noir Mars Black with a little bit of this Dragonfly Glaze Blue Green Gold Shift okay. um, I've got some red and that is my absolute favorite Arteza Rose Madder with a touch just an absolute touch of black in it and it is absolutely beautiful now I mixed all these paints last night so there shouldn't be too many bubbles in them. Um, I mixed this one this morning because I don't know. I want some purple in it. I don't know why. I just keep thinking it needs a little bit of lilac purple in it. So I mixed it this morning. And it's got a little bit of this Lumiere Halo Violet Gold which is my absolute favorite. I love this. And then a little bit of Deco Art um, Eggplant. Aubergine and Extreme Sheen Lavender Frost and then I've got some of this beautiful pink absolutely beautiful and this is just Pebio Iridescent Violet Blue my favorite summer gold again I mixed this one last night so should be all right but this one I mixed a little bit of the Pebio Gold Iridescent with my favorite 24k extreme sheen and last but not least I've got some of this dark garnet Go. um extreme sheen deco art all right now all of my paints are mixed with only water there is nothing else in them nothing special just water let's just move these out I'm sure this should be a little bit thinner for a Dutch pour. Oops. Oh, I'm going to have to move this. Now, I do watch a few people on YouTube, as I guess we all do. But my favorites to watch with Dutch pour is Rinske Downer and Canela Sirako. They are absolutely amazing. Both lovely ladies. Um... I've been following them for as long as I can remember. I think it was Rinske Downer that inspired me to do my very first Dutch pour. Um, but yes, she is absolutely amazing. Lovely young lady. I have one of her paintings. Amazingly enough, it is not a Dutch pour that I have of hers. Okay, so that's all mixed. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to put some paint along the middle. That's all I really want to do. And then just blow it out. So let's do this. I want one side to be with more color than the other. I'd prefer to have a little bit of negative space, but we'll see. just want a very little bit of black. I don't want too much of it. It's a lot of paint in there. Oops. And some of this garnet. There you go. A lot of paint. Definitely too much paint. I am sure of it. Okay, I'm just going to put 
put a little bit of white on this side. Let's do this, and I'm using my hair dryer. that I love how that purple is still there but it seems to have just vanished everywhere else and then one very habit I, bad habit I have for some reason I dip my hair dryer as you can see into the paint which I've done just there I'm going to try and blow it out a little bit more Let's just torch it and see what I get Okay, so I just realized that the camera was off for some... I touched up a little bit and switched it off and then thought I'd switched it back on, but I hadn't. So what I did is I put a little bit more of black and some gold and I put a little bit of white in it because I wanted to see if I could get a little bit more cells. But I think with the color... Oh, and I also put some of the purple in. With the colors that are there now, I'm loving it and I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. I, I don't want to touch it anymore. I'm just going to leave it alone. I absolutely love it. I like the negative space. I love the colors, how it's turned out. So I am going to leave it alone. Love to know what you think. Let me just turn some of these lights the other way so you can get a bit. Oh, let me just switch it off. See if, if you can get a better. There you go. Just turn off the lights totally on this side. Yeah, that's also slightly better. So yeah, I'm going to let it dry. I will show it to you once it's dry. And then I leave it for about three, four weeks. And I will then varnish it. But yes, I'm just going to leave it. Um, oh, one thing I am going to do though, is just make sure that the cover, the sides are covered. Where the paint has fallen. Okay, so I'm going to resin this heart. It has, today is the 20th of February. I did this the 21st of January. So it's four weeks. So not a problem with it. I wiped down earlier on. It's still got all the protection on the back. So all I'm going to do is now pour some resin. I do want it to go over, but I'll probably just do that with my hands. Um, I've mixed the resin. So all we need to do Let's pour some resin. The little where I cut my eggs and that's always where I dry most of my resin pieces. That is level and I did put already some um, lolly sticks so I know how to make sure that it's level. So the resin should level out by itself. So we'll move this over and then um, I will bring you back tomorrow, 24 hours from now, so that we can, um, so I can show you the final product. Yeah. The heart has sort of a um, little, the canvas where it, it's not 100% stretched, so it looks like um, little pleats. So I'm just ensuring that everything is covered. Alright, let's put it in its destination. And I will see you all tomorrow for you in a few seconds. And you get to see the final result. How wonderful. So this is all nice and dry. I have taken the tape off the back. Even though with tape, you do every once in a while, paint does get through if you haven't pressed it down properly. So it's got a little bit of a mess, but it's not as bad as it would be if there wasn't tape. Um, there were a few drops of resin, so with my um, tink gun, I just, 
you know go by past it a little bit not too much and then it comes off if you leave it on for too much the glue from the tape tends to stick to the canvas and then it's just a real mess so that is it resined um you can see there's a little bit of sort of glitter in it I know that with resin it just makes it twice as hard to see anything because of the glare you get in it but I am so very happy with this heart um, I will take some photos or try without having too much glare on it but thank you all so very much for being here with me please remember to like subscribe maybe even share it share my my videos that would be absolutely wonderful and I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this project. What you thought of the, you know, the Dutch pour. How that went. Tell me your thoughts. What do you think? Would you like to see more of um, the acrylic pouring? So thank you so much again for being here with me. And please remember wherever in the world you might be. Stay safe. Stay well. And I will see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.